Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you about some developments on the Connex Pro site. Uh, there have been some rumors circulating that there's a new camera coming out, and it is true. The new camera is really cool, and it works really well, and the new software is also really good. These are some really major improvements from Emamon, and so we'll talk about that in this video. Now with my camera, I am using a 1.56 millimeter lens that I got off of eBay. I believe the camera is going to ship with the 1.4 millimeter lens that was used on the or used for the HP Plus mode. And that is because it provides a pretty wide field of view and I think in general people are going to wider and wider fields of view. Uh, but this has a larger aperture of this particular lens so that's why I've been trying it. It seems to provide really good image quality. So the awesome new feature here is the spectrum analyzer that will now allow you to see what's going on around you as well as select frequencies that you want to be on. It actually has quite a bit of functionality and is really cool and it really allows you a little bit more control over your flying environment because you can check to make sure things are going to be safe before you start flying. So basically it will show you other ProSight systems that are transmitting uh, around you but it'll show it actually shows everything it shows you can see the Wi-Fi network on my house right now uh, off on the right there and on the left is my machine that's turned on right now and transmitting on one of the lower pro site frequencies and as you can see it has an average and a max setting the average setting is a weighted average that shows what's going on over the last few seconds so it goes up and down as the content changes the max setting will show you the maximum setting since it's been in max mode of the content in that frequency. So it'll kind of it'll kind of add up as you can see. If you go back to average, it shows you the average content at those frequencies at any given time, and it's a it's a rolling average. So the, I think the average function is a little bit more useful. For instance, if somebody had a machine on and they turned it off, and you were in max mode here, it wouldn't go back down because it's going to show the max that it has seen. Uh, whereas if somebody turns the machine on and off, it will change when it's an average setting, uh, averaging it a rolling average over the last several seconds to show you the content that's currently happening. And so this is one of the coolest things here. You can zoom in, and as you zoom in, it will show you more detail about the frequency content. And you can see here, if we zoom all the way in, it will show you that my strider is connected on frequency 5235. And I can choose different frequencies and it will let you choose the viewer or the master. So if you choose viewer, it will just view somebody else's machine that's on that frequency, if there is one. And if you set master, it will change your, your receiver, change your machine to be on that frequency, change your receiver and transmitter to, to be on that frequency. So they have different colors here to indicate the different things that are going on. If we look here, we can see that we've got a light red and a dark red and we've got a light gray, and we don't have a dark gray, but they you would potentially see a dark gray bar. So what the four different colors are is the light, the light red frequency is a busy channel. The dark red is a busy channel with a ProSight system on it. The light gray is a channel that's outside of your usable channels or outside of the regulations of your settings or your receiver or your regional code, your regional settings and such. The dark gray would be a busy channel that's outside the regulations of your receiver with a ProSight system transmitting on it. So it's just me sitting here with my Strider plugged in. So you can see, again, as I zoom in, it'll show you all the individual frequencies that you can you can use or choose based on the color coding, and it'll show you what machine you're on. And I believe it will show other machines as well uh, if, if there are other machines active. And then if I scroll over here to the right a little bit, we're seeing some of these bars jumping up and down a little bit, and you're basically looking at the, the Wi-Fi network in my house. Now if I wanted to change frequencies all I have to do is look at the available frequencies that I might want to choose and it will tell you if you can or cannot choose these frequencies but let's say I wanted to choose 5205 I'll just click on 5205 as I zoom in all the way hit connect I'll hit master I can look at the new frequency that it's been selected to 5205 and it shows the spectral content of all the frequencies. So you can kind of see the shape, the signal is strongest on the center frequency and then tapers down on the sides. And if you try to choose a frequency that you're quote unquote not allowed to use, it will tell you. So if I want to connect to 5520, 5525, 
it says you're going to use this as a viewer. So this is one of the most useful tools I think I've come across in a long time because I can now go to the field and plug this in and see exactly what's going on in my environment. Now you can see as I've unplugged, since I've unplugged my quad, you can see that the frequency content there is dropping. So it's updating this in real time. Anyway, you can go to the field and you can see what's going on in real time as conditions change from field to field or wherever your location is, you'll be able to tell if it's safe for you to fly on whatever frequency or you can see other analog systems too. It will show everything that's in the entire ProSight range and allow you to safely choose um, frequency to fly on. So I wanted to show some of the different modes that are available as well on the ProSight system now with the new software update that's coming. So if we go into the setup menu, go into the camera settings, we have a couple of new options here. We can choose which camera we want now because there will be different cameras. We can choose the video mode, 60 hertz or 50 hertz. You guys have seen the night mode before, but now we have a new thing called color mode. And this is to adjust the color balance. And I have found this useful. Right now I'm on preset two, so we'll go to preset one and see what that looks like. You can see that offers a little bit of a brighter image. Although I have found you do want to experiment a little bit to see what you prefer. The image is brighter in some areas and it may be darker in other areas. Let's go back and look at that again. See, that actually has a little bit less contrast, even though the overall image is brighter in preset one, you actually see the darker parts of the image better in preset two. So I've been using preset two, but you can see they're starting to offer some options here that are allowing you to adjust the camera settings, which is awesome. There's another setting that we can play with. Go back into the camera. We now have options for saturation. I'm on the default saturation, but as you can see, you can go to low or high saturation as well. If you go to low saturation, again, take a look at the different parts of the image and we'll see what happens. This is a little bit less color saturation, which can make it a little bit easier to distinguish objects in some cases. I'm a freestyle flyer, so I prefer the default level of saturation, but I'll show you, we can go into the highest level of saturation. I find this to be very nice for video capture. Some of you will appreciate the new OSD features. We actually have an option now to get rid of the ProSight logo. So it used to be that you could never get rid of the ProSight logo, but now if you go into setup and you go into OSD, if you choose the race setting, then all you get is the counter and the voltage. I think that's great. Amamon is actually listening to their customers. They heard the complaints about the OSD. If you're not somebody that needs information on an OSD, then you can get rid of it using the race mode. If you still are not satisfied, let Amamon know. They may provide a switch at some point that will allow you to turn on and off the ProSight logo with no other changes. I've asked them for that and I think eventually they'll give it to us. <laughs> so let's go back to the standard full, full OSD. As you can see in the upper right corner now, it displays the picture mode that you're in, in my case two. It displays the signal strength as always, the timer, the voltage, the name of your machine, and we also have HX. That is the new mode for the new camera. And the new camera has some interesting features to it. It is 60 frames per second with low latency, and it provides a picture quality that's quite a bit better than HP, which you may notice in this picture. If we just look around a little bit, you can see the clarity of the image is really good. It's better than HP, and I'll be the first to admit it's not as beautiful as HQ. However, at 60 frames per second with image quality like this, it's a big step forward. And HX, I think, is gonna be something that most people are gonna to wanna to fly that are flying any kind of machine that's moving at a high rate of speed. So racing quads or, or fast moving wings or whatever you're flying, or if you're doing any kind of proximity flying, I used to use HQ mode all the time. It was my favorite. And, it, and some of the improvements that happened early on to the HP mode were not good enough for me. I didn't think it was better than analog to the point that I was gonna use HP. And my skill level wasn't at the point where I thought I had to have 
the 60 frames per second with the lowest latency. But Amamon, as you guys know, there have been some delays, some production issues with this, this camera, but it's gonna be amazing when it comes out. The picture quality is really great. There's no question that it's better than analog at all. And it really makes the ProSight system worth its money, in my opinion. Um, there's just no, there's no argument about that now. And I'll show you some flight footage in a minute where you can see how beautiful it really is compared to the original HP mode. It has really good resolution, really good clarity, and the, there's no latency to speak of. Well, there's always latency, but the latency is low enough that you need not worry about it. I'm sure it will be fine for racing. That's it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, we all look forward to the new camera coming out and the new software. I've been talking with Amamon about this, and it's supposed to be really soon. That's why they gave me authorization to start posting this kind of stuff, which they've been asking all the beta testers to keep quiet for now. So it's got to be a good sign that they've gotten approval to sort of let it out into the open. So I think we'll see it very soon, and I can't wait. Happy flying. See ya.